So, we went to Angono. Maliit na bagay. It took us a couple of hours bago kami na kompleto. But pagtungtong ko pa lang sa tinaguri ang art capital of the Philippines, I knew that any obstacle sa aming tour would be rewarded. The paintings displayed sa SM Angono Art Walk were nothing short of brilliant. May mga artists ding nagpapaint sa area, and we got to see their process. And ang masasabi na lang namin is, Sabaol. We took a couple of pictures na mga naka-display and may kita yung kanya-kanya mga art styles na mga artists. And for me, they all stood out in their own ways. Anyway, we all got hungry so kumain muna kami. At pagkatapos ay nag-video kay sa World of Fun. After all, music is art, right? Next destination, Giant Dwarf. We were supposed to visit the Nemiranda Art House, but unfortunately, under maintenance yung iba nilang areas and the staff recommended the Giant Dwarf Art Space instead. The entrance was free naman and we got to see the artworks of Pabsi Martus and Kim Oliveros. Giant Dwarf did not disappoint. Last destination, a playa Tai Tai. It is a beach vibe food park na bagong bukas lang. And we can't help but fall in love with its aesthetic. Simply lang siya but we really enjoyed taking pictures dito. We even got an opportunity to speak with the owner toko sa upbringing ng kanyang establishment as well as mga future developments dito sa Playa Tai Tai. If there's a lesson to take away dito sa aming tour, that is to appreciate the more common pieces of art na hindi masyado pinupure. The kind of art na sanay na tayo makita. The furniture, the floor patterns, the appliances, and even a blank white painted wall. Dahil it only takes one person to call something as art, for it to be art. So let's appreciate the little things in life.